I challenge you every single day to live your life to honor them. That when you want to quit, when you want to give up, when you want to make an excuse, think of those men and women that didn't make excuses, that looked death in the eyes and said, nope, I'm here. So that others could go forward. It's been an awesome day. I truly love this company. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this day. Thank you. We've got our friend Andy Reith behind me. He's a lean manufacturing expert, so he's been helping us over the years. I think this is his sixth time here. He comes for a week or two at a time. We're going through the whole plant, specifically the boot line, and getting it really working like a well-oiled machine. You know, and we're, we're basically, we're doing jujitsu on it, is what we're doing. So finding all the angles, all the details, so that we can produce quicker and more efficiently. That's what we've been doing, but the whole team has been trained in the factory. This is our second time they've been trained, but we've added so many people. Understanding manufacturing, lean manufacturing, uh, that's a whole nother beast. So uh, for a lot of them, this is their first experience this week to that. Also, Mr. JP Dinell is here. So JP's bookending this by uh, doing a little something special for the staff on leadership. So tomorrow we're doing a special event for the whole staff where JP's gonna talk about combat leadership. So it's a, a week full of, of learning and training and just taking a fresh look at everything so that we can go into 2020 banging on all 16 cylinders. Yeah, so this is training that I developed based on my time at Toyota. And it's a lot of, it's basically drinking from the fire hose, trying to expose as many of these concepts to uh, origin employees as we can so that down the road as we deal with issues they at least have that that background knowledge to start with and say you know I remember a little bit about that how do we take this further so this is the fundamentals of lean manufacturing my name is Andy Reith this is my company Sciota Productivity Solutions I've been doing this now about two and a half years I think this is my sixth trip up here didn't make it to camp this year but I was at camp last year and got my ass kicked so <laughs> Fundamentals of lean manufacturing at Origin USA. And that's going to be the next, sort of the next cultural phase of it, is the idea that once we get good standards in place, if something is not to standard, press the button and that lets us know, gives us data, like this is how long we dealt with something out of standard. Yeah. And that's why standards are so important. If things are standardized and something's wrong, it's not a person's fault, it's the process fault. Let's fix the process. And everybody operates in that system. How's it look? Good, you normally like, I'm timing individual boots, but I'm about to start timing pairs of boots, which will decrease the time because now that job's being done while well, he's getting the next one ready, you know what I'm saying? So when, you have, when you're fully staffed, is the idea that you would have butts and seats in both of these? Yeah, when we're fully staffed, so everything in this factory is designed to do like 500 pairs a day, except for stitching. So you're gonna have like one person here, one person here, one person here, and like 20 stitchers feeding them. So we're gonna need more machines and more people. Okay. The first pole, is that the, like the black layer? Yep. And then the second is the actual leather? Yep. I'm just taking everything in. In order for me to try to contribute anything, I have to really know what's going on first. The last thing you want to do is come in and try to make changes without understanding the process. Listen, we just got done with the train. <clears throat> Look who's here. What's up, guys? So uh, listen, we had a little 10 minute match. What would we call it? Maybe like a, I don't know. I thought we were just rolling light. We were rolling light, but I look, I look behind me again to see if I could sweep JP. And he's like, oh bro, you're not sweeping me. So 
What happened is he went oh. plop. Nope, I went. Oh, to the side. So, so this is what we're gonna do. Luckily for us, Mr. Ty had set up a secret camera. I had no idea. And I think he might've gotten it on film. Hopefully it's in frame. So we're gonna post it up and you're gonna vote. You're gonna vote to see who wins. Mr. J.P. Donnell. We're putting it to a vote. It, it it's is, off to the look, circuit. look, oh, boom. That's over my head. No, it's not. I don't think so. You vote. You vote. Hey, JP Denal here. I'm up here in Farmington, Maine. Uh, looking forward to spending some time with the Origin and Origin Labs family. Um, one of Jocko and Leif Babbin's leadership instructors with their company called Echelon Front. I came up here, honestly, just to get away from everything and just kind of reset and refresh kind of my mindset and uh, detach, well, to recalibrate myself to do what we tell people that they need to do as well. And you know, Amanda and, and Peter asked me if I'd be willing to speak with the, uh, the Origin family. I was super fired up about that opportunity. So tomorrow we're gonna be diving into the principles that we talk about at Echelon Front, the, the mindsets, the victory, the laws of combat, and how that they can tie it into their personal and professional lives to help this company continue to grow to be that multi, multi-billion dollar company that it will be in the very near future. So hopefully the team will get something out of tomorrow. Looking forward to it. We've been working together to figure out, you know, what makes sense, how do we balance the workload? Do you know you're a future superstar? They're gonna have their kids in business school watching these HD videos. And they're gonna they're gonna go through one by see what they did here, see what they did here, see what they did here. This is part of that process. All this is is sheets of paper cut up into actual time blocks. This is 20 minutes, this green line, this is 30 minutes. So you can see everything falls within that 20 to 30 minutes. Ultimately, we wanna get it below the green green line. We should be able to make within the 30 minutes up to 16 pairs of boots, right? Because it all fits. Uh, we're gonna talk about combat leadership. Uh, the lessons that we learned in combat and how these leadership lessons apply to your personal and professional life. We're gonna be very real and raw today. Uh, Amanda and Pete and Brian asked that of me. And so we're, I'm, I'm gonna be clear on a few things as we get started. The very first thing is, Every one of you guys in this room are at war. Now, it's not the same type of war that I've seen, but you're at war. You're at war with complacency. I promise you, complacency is going to creep into your life. But that's a reality of life. Things are gonna happen in life that you can think about and want to do everything you can to change it. But can we do anything to change our past? No, those actions are done. What has happened has already happened, and what we have to focus on is currently what we're able to do, and what we're going to do, and what we want to do. That's, that's the only thing that we can actually have an effect on. And one thing I hate is when people are like, you win or you learn, you never lose. Bullshit. <laughs> there is a winner and a loser in everything in life. Now whether you learn from those losses or those wins, is solely up to you. Humility, ownership, and teamwork can help. And that leadership is the most important thing on the battlefield. And today we're gonna to talk about how leadership is the most important thing off the battlefield, in your personal and professional life. This company is going to make a difference in America. You have the ability to live your life every day to honor their sacrifice. The freedoms that we have And there are going to be people that continue to push forward, to go fight that darkness, to fight the enemy, so that we can continue to do what we do. We get to do what we do. I challenge you every single day to live your life to honor them. That when you want to quit, when you want to give up, when you want to make an excuse, think of those men and women that didn't make excuses, that looked death in the eyes and said, nope. I'm here so that others could go forward. It's been an awesome day. I truly love this company. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this day. Thank you.